One of the most powerful tools in Adobe Illustrator, which no one is really talking about, is the Real Color tool. Now, this function helps you to change the colors in the vector art all at once in the same window. Now, this means you can change the colors in a scene, in the background, you can change the skin tones and clothes of characters in just a click or two. It could literally save you hours of work. It basically works by going into Illustrator, importing your vector graphics, and here's where the magic happens. So the first thing you do is to select the object or the layer that you want to work with or you want to recolor. Then you go to the properties panel right here on your right. <laughs> right? Before then, we'll go back to layers and go right into that layer and select the exact shapes that we want to recolor. So we'll just do that by clicking those two round buttons and then heading back to the properties panel. And now we're just going to go down to quick actions and then hit recolor. So there are generally two ways of working this recolor thing and the first is edit and second assign. Now there are three ways you can change colors using the edit function in recolor. So you can hit this button right here which will just show you a smooth color wheel where you can just you know move things around and have your colors change harmoniously. And then you can hit this second button right here, this please segmented color wheel, which sort of segments the color wheel and you know has you pick more sharper colors. And then the last method is to click this button right here, which says display color bars, which pretty much displays the bars for you to sort of switch. It basically just swaps out the colors of each uh, already selected palette. Right, and that's pretty much it for edits. Now, if you're changing colors using assign, this basically just means that you are assigning new colors manually. So, for example, what was previously orange, I'm just going to change this now to purple. Now, what was previously cream, change this now to uh, dark blue. And what was previously teal, I guess, I'll change this to cyan. And what was previously red, I'll change this to bright yellow. So now we have a completely different color palette right here, which is pretty amazing if you ask me. Now Adobe took things further six months ago and added an AI generative feature inside the recolor function. And you can find out by looking down here and hitting generative recolor. Unfortunately, this is only for the better Illustrator users. So here's how it works. So you type a prompt right here in the prompt uh, section. And then based on that prompt, Adobe gives you a color palette that describes or that pretty much follows the prompt you gave it. And we have examples of prompts over here. We have the salmon sushi, we have the dark blue midnight, which basically looks like a dark blue or midnight um, color palette. And we have the trippy disco light. So these are basically color palettes based off of the prompts I was given. So I can't wait for Adobe to make that available to everyone. But till then, let's just try out two more examples of the color function. So now the first thing we'll be doing is working with this tomato. So what we'll do is to just select it, you know, just use the just use the selection tool to select this, and then we we'll come to our properties panel and click recolor down here. And boom, here we are. So we have all the colors on that selection, you know, test here, and you know we can start assigning new colors, you know, fixing new things, which I think is pretty cool you know um so here we are but to make this more um, harmonious i probably just want to use the edit feature as opposed to the assign feature so let's just move this around Oof, this is pretty amazing you know i just get to play around with certain things that will probably take you a lot of time to recolor individually and yeah so i think i think i'm good with this lastly we'll be working with these characters here and one of the amazing things about this so i mean first of all you select and then hit recolor in the properties panel one of these one of the amazing things about this is that we get to select or change the skin tones of characters you know sometimes we africans don't get to color or get to have illustrations um, in black people but now you know we get to just straight up change the colors and the complexion of of our characters Whoa, this is very dark. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, 
you know this this is pretty much it and i think it's really cool really really cool what you get to do so yeah i just give him pink lips so this is one of the beautiful things and if you're working with a brand if you're working with a brand that has a specific color palette you can actually assign the exact colors of the brand to it for example a color is working with this particular brand so you can actually redesign the clothes to fit the colors of the brand which i find really really helpful on a lot of my motion design projects so yeah i think i'm done with this let me know what you think of this tool and how you use it on your projects and please don't forget to like share subscribe if you find this helpful like really don't forget to